Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man. We are back on Corn Belt. Um, I was in the last episode. I was dinking around. I didn't get a lot of work done, but I was trying to solve little issues that I've been having, and uh, I solved a few of them. I've got two more that I want to look at, and the, we started looking at the logging issue. Okay, so I figured out where the straps were. I took the train to the other, um, down to the sawmill. So let's go down to the sawmill before I get my equipment started back up again. Sawmill, sawmill, sawmill. Sawmill. Where's my trains? There, okay. So this one is it. No, this one isn't it. This is the tanker. Okay, that's the farm. That's the farm. This is it. All right, so um, I put those logs on, and I brought them to the sawmill, and I'm trying to figure out where to put the logs for the making of the boards here. And uh, as you see, you put logs in there, and you get uh, board pallets. All right, so pallets for making boards. All right, so now you've got these cell points here. There's one here, and there's one there, and there's one there, and I have no idea exactly what they're for, but I'm thinking that there is, as you notice, there's a readout board there, right there where I think the logs need to go to make the boards. How do you get them there? So we're gonna try that today. Uh, First of all, I think you have to take the straps off. So let's see about that. And let me let me see. How do you do this? Straps need to come off because they went on there. All right, there it is. So there. Okay, so. Let's get the other two off. Get that one off and that one off. I think the straps have to come off before you can pull the... Use the crane to pull the logs off. Okay, there's three straps. Got them all off. Let's get up on the train. Or the, I'm sorry, the crane. And uh, see if we can crane these things off. I got an idea that it's there and we just can't see it. I don't think you need a truck. If you needed a truck, then why would they put that thing in there with the, you know, with the bars around it, make it look like it's a pickup point or a letdown point or a whatchamadollit. So anyway, we're gonna get in this crane and see if we can maneuver this thing where we need it to go. Let's see, I need it to go this way. Um, I don't know, right there maybe. Okay, I know it needs to go over, but let's get down. And then let's move it around and make it go over. And then open it up. down. I don't want to pick the trailer up, but I do want to get all the logs. Okay, I think I've got them. Let's go up. Now, here's what I'm thinking. God. I don't think you need the truck there. What's the difference between if you have the logs and the logs are on a truck? I don't think there's a difference. I think that we can just, as soon as I figure out how to make this thing go. There, that way. All right, now watch that reader board because if my theory's right, just because I don't have these logs on a truck, normally you'd drive it over the truck and it would accept the logs. I think it's gonna do the same thing with the crane. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Am I where I'm supposed to be? Uh, 
All right. There. It's taking them. See the reader board? There they go. Maybe I just wasn't getting low enough to the ground. All right. Now what, though? Let's get out of here. Jump down off this thing without killing ourselves. Now what happens? So we've got logs. Oh, it put them in there. Not very many. That that one log there represents everything I had, which is fine. I mean, you normally you'd have a whole train load, right? So what happens over here? Is this thing running? Well, something's working. You see, the lights are going. There it goes. Holy smokes! Look at that. There's our logs. All right, another mystery solved. Okay, so I'm thinking that it's going to make boards and they're just going to come out on this belt here. And we'll come pick them up when we need them. Sweet. All right. Sweet. And now the other mystery we had was the uh, mystery of how I lost so dang much money on those potatoes. So, I looked it up, and the place where I was supposed to sell the there's potatoes, it was this uh, Guterbundhof, and I clicked that to find it. Now, they also so, uh, sell uh, sugar beets, or buy sugar beets. So, I took a truck of sugar beets, because I don't have any beets, I mean... Uh, potatoes I sold them all and um, now this is where I sold them right here and the reason why I sold them here was I didn't know because if you look at the green marker down there there's no sell point there all there is is a tank like a fuel tank so, how does that take potatoes? So, I went back to that other place over there, and I sold the potatoes, and I lost my ass. It wasn't the uh, great demand. That's not where the great demand was. It was where this tank is, I guess. So, how do you sell p uh, potatoes or sugar beets to a fuel tank? I don't see any place to sell the darn things. But see, that's where the green marker is. Where are they sold? Wait a minute. Unload. What? Are you kidding me? Um... All right, the price right now is I got beets is 211 and it's going down. Uh Q Q it said. Now it's gone. All right, I'm getting in trouble here. So, see what I mean? I don't, I don't understand. What, where do you sell potatoes and sugar beets? Let me run through there again. It just does not make sense to me. Let me run up by the tank. No, there's nothing there. That I can see. Alright. 
Yeah, it's no, it, it's it perfectly understandable that I sold them in the wrong place because I couldn't see anything here, and you know how maps are. Sometimes things don't line up. So my thought was that that green beacon thing didn't line up with where it was supposed to be sold, which was over there, and it and it wasn't over there. So now. Now it's not popping up. It's not popping up now. And Q, it said, usually isn't Q to detach something? It is. It wanted to know if I wanted to de detach the trailer. That's what Q is. I don't see anything here. For selling anything. Dang it. That's just frustrating. Alright, so there's still a mystery here. If that's the place that you sell the sugar beets and the potatoes, where? Where do you drop them? Let me put the triggers on here and see. I don't even see a sell point. There is a sell point. There's a right there, but it looks like it's for liquids. It doesn't look like it's for, uh, see, it's for petrol. It's not for potatoes. And there's nothing here. Well, there is. There is a trigger there, but it's not for potatoes. Something isn't right. I just don't understand. Uh, now you see. Uh, there's a trigger right there in front of the tanks. But not for selling potatoes. Or sugar beets. That's the case, maybe. Alright, turn those off. Get back in the truck. I'm going to try it one more time. Let's place this trailer right within that trigger. See, nothing changes. There's no indication that you can sell anything here. I'm hitting the button. Nothing's happening. So I don't know. Doesn't make any sense. Sugar beet is not accepted here. So I did hit the trigger. Sugar beets are not accepted there, but that's exactly where it was. If we go to the map, let's go to here. It was the uh, Guterhof. It had a great demand for potatoes. Right there is where it was. When I click on that, when I clicked on that, there's the marker. Right there. So something isn't right. I just lost my, all my potatoes and all my money. All right, let's get on with it. I got work to do. Let's get these uh, sugar beets back. Where is a good price for sugar beets anyway? Because I can't use all those for sugar. It'd take forever. Uh, sugar beets, it's just not a good price anywhere. Uh, 257 is uh, the train station, Maplefield Mill, which is uh, where Maplefield Mill is right where I'm at. This is the Maplefield Mill right here, and it's a train dump. Although it looks like you can dump it with a truck too. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm confused. I think there's no point in uh, selling this stuff. Is this just a storage here? 
Can I store this stuff and pick it up with the train? Is that what this is? Let's find out. Sugar beets not accepted here. All right, well, fine. Sugar beets aren't accepted there. I'm on a roll, boys. I'm on a roll. Boys and girls. I don't suppose they're accepted here if they're not accepted there. Oh, they are. They were. Oh, sweet. So, what's in them piles? Okay, one's for potatoes and one's for beets. And I'm selling them. And I'm making not very much money. Oh well, that's not bad. Alright, uh... Let me get my... truck back where it needs to go. Let's just send it up to, uh... Field 50... And I've got some uh, cultivating to do before we can start seeding again. I sold the smaller cultivators, the sunflower ones, and uh, bought those big 36 footers or 36 meter ones so we can get some work done. Let me get uh, one of these guys is in the way of the other. So let's move it. Move it! And let's get... Uh, let's get him back to cutting. Was he done? I don't think he was done. Wow. Alright, let him go. Let's see. Let's get cultivators running. These... If you remember, I had two tractors on this field. Uh, they kind of finished. Kind of. They left this one strip right here. Which I suppose is understandable. I didn't tell them to do it. Alright, let's drop this thing and get to work here. Curious to see how flexible this is, this piece of equipment. And uh, no, as you notice, I did not get a chance to go in and and remodify it. I wish I had of, but it's just going to have to be slow work until I do that. I have to remember. I have to write it down. And say, okay, when you're not in the game, go in and remod that thing. Problem is that I stop recording and. I go in and start rendering the video and after I render it I uh, compress it and after I compress it I have to send it up to YouTube well after all that I've completely forgot that I was gonna go in and and uh, modify a mod until the next time I come in to the game <laughs> and realize I haven't got it done This is going to take a while. I didn't realize that it was all the way down the field, so I'm going to hire a worker to finish this out since it's so slow. And let's move on to uh, better times. Let's see, this is field 50. Let's spread this thing out. We're going to have to do a new cultivation course because this is so much bigger than that other one by quite a little bit. Looks like Daryl's done already, whatever Daryl was doing. What was Daryl doing? Oh, he didn't want to do it. Daryl, what's going on? He didn't want to finish it. Well, 
Well, it's going to take a while. Let me finish this in a minute. I'll get back to it. Let's get this guy started. All right, so this is field 49. And we're going to generate a course. Let me see if we've got one already for cult that we do for cult for the smaller one. Um, I could leave it, but I don't see any point in coming back to a smaller cultivator. So I'm going to delete it. That's less less uh, things taking up the memory. And then let's generate a course. 49. We're in the southeast. Southeast. We're going to be heading west. And I'm going to activate... Well... It's a pretty good sized field. Do I need... Do I need two? Do I need two? Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I'll do two. Generate the course. Forty-nine. Cultivate. Um. Let's see. Southeast. Heading west, 36.4 times two, whoops, two, two, save that. Let's get this show on the road, because it's going to be slow going at 12 miles an hour. Do these big monsters have four-wheel drive available? They do. That might help him from being so squirrely. Maybe. Might be my foot on the accelerator that's doing it, but you never know. Alright, we'll let him go. Let's grab the other feller. And again, let's see if we've got a current course on that. We do. And again, I going to get rid of it and we'll start a new one uh, field work we're going to do field 50 and 36.4 we're starting in the southwest going to be heading north activate a couple of those Field 50, cultivating uh, southwest, heading north, 36.4 times 2, and off we go. Alrighty, now while they're doing their thing, we've got other things to do. Got some stumps to cut here. Alright, let's lower that. up a little bit. Nothing's happening. Okay. Now if that happens to you, I found that if you change the angle a little bit, come at it in a different direction, generally that'll do the trick. I don't know why but it seems to do the trick. Mm. 
There it goes. I don't know why that's the deal, but it is. Now, I'm not going to do any logging right now. So, I just want to kind of clean things up as we're going. We're waiting. We can't seed yet. I can get a seeder ready, though, can I? Let's see. 35 is almost done as soon as I finish it up. Um, where would... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The beet harvester. Oh, I forgot all about that. Okay, well, here's the thing. They're done working. He doesn't need to be on the field. So, let's stop him. Get him off the field. And that way that cultivator can continue working. And then let's get that truck off the field. And we'll get that cultivator working again. Sorry. There you go. Who do we have working? Uh, Pat Pearson. All right, Pat. Sorry about that. Who else we got working today? All right, we got Jeremy Nelms working this one. These things seem to be fairly flexible. I'm just running through, see what we got to do here. Well, shoot. You know what? I, I hate to do it, but there's no time like the present. Man, this it's a, it's be a teach me for not uh, doing what I know I have to do and remod this thing. <laughs> oh, no, it take forever. Let me see. I'm gonna hire somebody. Back her up. Back her up. Can I hire somebody? It's just not letting me. Dar, Alan, Stefan, Alan, Pat, none of them want to do it. Uh, what does the course look like? Let me see what the course looks like. Why didn't it get it in the first place? Yeah, the fog's rolling in. Uh, rain's coming. This might do it. Let's let this finish up. That might get her done. Uh, what do we got going here? Did we have some compost that we were running? Well, if we did, we didn't have very much. So, let's see. I put silage in the mixing station, didn't I? So we should have stuff working in here. Because I think I put... Yeah, we do. We've got 271,000 in there. And it's not working anymore, so it's out of whatever I put in there. Uh, straw. I know I put a bunch of grass in. Yeah, I've got 228,000 in grass in there. I've got uh, 95,000 in silage. I just didn't put a lot of straw in. Not that I don't have it. I have tons of straw. Now, let's see. I used the potatoes that I had and put them in here. We now need uh, soybeans or sunflower seeds or something like that and wheat, barley, or corn. So, I need to start making pig food because uh, I'm going to buy animals. I am, I am, I am. I sold a few things and made a little bit of my money back. And I lost about 400000 on those roughly I don't know. I didn't really. I didn't really catch it. As a matter of fact, I didn't catch it at all. Subscribers did. A couple of you guys did. Came on and said, "Hey, you just lost your ass on those potatoes." So. Anyway. Case for us or us only money, right? 
Am I going the right way in the fog? I guess so. Yeah, there's the dealer right in front of us. Oh, farmer's work is never done. Whoa, 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 big hill. Now, that's not the actual road. There is one. There's a dirt road behind me. But it's too far away. One of these days I need to go check to see how the sugar's doing. I was making sugar. Alright, let's get these things going. While we're waiting for that, let's get the sugar beet harvester. Oh shoot. Oh, did it again. Uh, he needs to come in anyway, so rather than drive that truck back and forth, let's just take the the sugar beets to the truck. Which is where... Uh, I don't know, I'm lost in the fog. Let's hit the road. Let's do this the right way. We'll get on the road. Oh, it's raining. Good thing I'm not harvesting, right? You can still work in the rain. Listen, can you hear the wind, the uh, thunder and lightning? Well, you don't see lightning, but you hear the thunder. Whoa, big dip. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep making sugar. There's the thunder. I'm gonna keep making sugar, but. Uh, if a great demand comes around, sugar beets are getting sold, I'll tell you that. Or if the price gets up. The only problem with that is if you have a substantial amount of fruit and the price goes up, about the first or second or third truckload that you take in brings the price right back down. So without a great demand, you just can't sell very much and make any money because the price drops. All right, let's see. Let's, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this thing right here and we'll just work this truck in the rain. It's raining in the building. Isn't that cute? It's funny. This game's funny. But it's washing stuff off. The rain washes your equipment up. But a roof doesn't stop it. it rains right into buildings. Cool, huh? So you don't have to worry about parking your equipment in a building and it not getting washed. It still gets washed. toxic rain oh wow at least it loads quick look at that Now, that place that I just came from that I was supposed to sell the potatoes at, and I couldn't figure it out. Now, you can sell potatoes there, but that wasn't where the great demand was. The great demand was at that Guten place. And the place where I actually sold them was at Mary's Field, or Mary's Farm. But... The train stops there. Now, when you drop stuff off on the train, does it sell it or does it store it? I think it sells it. So, I'm going to take if there's, if I want to sell these beats at some point, 
I'll probably just put them on the train. That'd be the thing to do. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. Alright, got some people done with work. I think it's probably the grass guys. But, let's see. One of them is, anyway. Uh, uh oh. I gotta go check on. Uh, 49. Alright, this is uh, 35. He's done. This time. So. Let's, uh, let's see, which way are we, we're facing the right way. We're heading home in the rain. Oh, look, he's missed another. What? Are you kidding? Holy smokes. Was this all the way around the field? You know what, I'm not going to get to this in this episode, so I think what I'm going to do is stop him here, and by golly, I'm going to go in and change the speed on this piece of equipment, and I'll I'll catch it up in the next episode, so I'm kind of running out of time right now, and I don't want to spend my time driving that thing around at 12 miles an hour, I'll tell you that right now. Am I on the truck or am I on the... I'm on the combine. Now I'm on the truck. I was going to say that engine didn't sound like the... Like the truck. Well, we're just having fun loading beats here. It's a jolly good day in the rain. I do want to check something while it's raining though. Let me get this thing unloading here. And I have something that's been on my mind. Look. The dirt. The dirt covers the John Deere stuff up. You remember that John Deere picture of the deer and the, and the plaque on the side? You could not read at all. It was just a brown, like a brown piece of metal. It wasn't that weird. When this thing starts running again, I'll point it out again. So the rain cleaned it right off. I thought something went wrong and we lost our logos. But it's just dirt. They get so dirty you can't see them at all. Sweet. Let's get this other trailer unloaded. We're, we're working in the rain. I could get the lawnmower going again, but like I say, I'm running out of time. About the time I get it started, I might as well just dink around here and finish this up. Get these, get these beats in the barn. Equipment out of the rain. Get myself out of the rain. Go home and have a piece of apple pie. Somebody asked me the other day. You know, they know I'm a pie eater. And says, What's your favorite pie? I, say, I don't have a favorite pie. I like them all. Well, except for, I don't like minced meat and I don't like uh, pecan pie. I'm not a pecan pie guy. But I like everything else. Cherry, I like cherry. Don't have cherry very much. Mostly apple and pumpkin. As a matter of fact, I just had a pumpkin pie the other night. With a whipped cream. I had an apple pie a couple weeks ago. I didn't bake it. I don't bake. My wife doesn't bake much either. Um, so we usually find either somebody else to bake them. There's a lady in town that used to bake pies for us, but I think she's retired now. She baked um, in her house. She had a half a dozen ovens, and she baked pies and sold them to the restaurants as, you know, fresh homemade pies. They were great. 
marionberry pies and apple pies and peach pies and any kind of pie you can imagine, fruit pie. They were wonderful, but I think she's retired now. So now we just try to find them someplace. The bakery sometimes will have them. And I think the last one we got, we actually got at Safeway, a grocery store. And normally they're not that good, but this one really was. The apples, you know, a lot of times in those pies you buy at a grocery store, the apples are like rock hard. You might as well just pick them right off a tree. This one was not. The uh, apples in them, they weren't soft by any means as far as, you know, really, really, really where you didn't have to chew them soft. But they weren't rock hard either. And they had a very good flavor to them. Yes, I'm a connoisseur of pies. You call me the pie man. No, don't. Here I am working sugar beets and talking about pie. No, I've never had a sugar beet pie. Are we done yet? My goodness. This truck doesn't hold as much as the other trucks, but uh, it's lower to the ground, so it goes under these things really well. The problem is these combines, they hold a ton. More, I mean, not literally. <laughs> they hold much more than a ton. They hold a lot. Alrighty, come on, this is boring. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, let's go check, see what's going on in the rain. The trains are fine. The equipment's getting washed. This guy could actually go someplace and start Let's at least get him off of this. He needs to go across the road. We can at least drive him over there. I'm not going to get him started, but we can at least get him over there. Can we jump that hill at all? Oh, there's not much of a hill there. I have to jump through traffic, though. Whoa! I didn't see that. That was fun. I want to do that again. Oh, uh, what's this? Something's on sale. I don't need to buy anything. I need to sell stuff. Everybody else is just working around. Who do we got? Jeremy's just... Well, he's in a cab. He's okay. He's probably got a heater going. He's the only one working. In the rain. Alrighty. I think that I... am going to call it an episode here. I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like. Share it with a friend. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.